वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोग्राम अज के सैगमेंट अभी गलबात करेंगे कमलेश चौहान ना जो कि एक इंजीनियर ने तो सूँ दसन कि अज रोज़मर्रा जिंदगी जी चीज़ों का असं इस्तेमाल करते हैं वह कि जिंदगी इंपैक्ट पै रहा है अच्छ कैंसर वर्गिया बीमारियां जड़िया ने बदलिया जा रही हैं तो होर बहुत सारिया ऐसी बीमारियां सूँ लग रही ने पता नहीं चल रहा हो कि रहा है इस संबंध में टॉक्सीसिटी जी वही है किमें इसको असं अपने घर चु घटा सकते हैं और इस बारे कुछ जानकारी लेने कमलेश चौहान जो कि एक इंजीनियर ने वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम Thank you, Abhijit. Thank you. So, a little bit about yourself. What's your professional background? I have an engineering background mm -hmm. uh, and then business management and sales and marketing. Right. Um, but for the last 13 years, I've spent uh, working and developing and manufacturing cleaning products. Okay. Um, very similar to what the large brands that one might see in the larger um, retailers. Okay. And. Uh, when i was exposed to that mm -hmm. uh, one thing th that came to my mind was working with these products for 13 years and physically in a factory in a large pr uh, processing plant mm -hmm. is that i realized that there's a lot of harsh products that we are exposed to mm -hmm. one way or another be it in the manufacturing process or even be it in end use right um and that just didn't work well with me after you know doing it for 13 years i realized there's got to be a better option out there right. something that's less disastrous to mm -hmm. human health well as you have said of course in factories and industries uh, we find that there's a lot of uh, uh, this kind of uh, thing which is happening but even in our homes also that toxicity is increasing you know the products what we are using uh, uh, we want instant results and because of those instant results our health is deteriorating so tell us a little bit about uh, you know for the basic things like we use in our homes for example uh, the soaps what we use for cleaning our deter uh, the detergents cleaning our utensils or our clothes uh, what kind of chemicals do they have and how are they impacting our health so most of these products will have a base in it okay. uh, some sort of active ingredient which allows for the cleaning to take place mm -hmm. thereafter most other products these days have got an enzyme that's added onto it to to boost the performance right um and all these things have an impact on our health mm -hmm. if we look at what the regulation is in in canada for example um we have biodegradability and that refers to how quick the product can get back into nature right the, so the canadian standard says that it must be 60% biodegradable okay. within 28 days okay so as long as you have that means that you can then put it onto your product and say that it is biodegradable mm -hmm. however what happens to the other 40% mm. it's not really addressed there's no real legislation behind that the other 40% okay um and that is what starts causing the problem mm -hmm. we also start using a lot more disinfectants as you've mentioned herpreet we talk about instant results right so everybody wants to use something and just kill away all these germs right and when we kill away all the germs and we killing away all this bacteria mm -hmm. what we don't realize is that 90% of the bacteria that we exposed to that's commonly found in the world right. is good for us okay it's not bad mm -hmm. there's only 10% which is actually the bad bacteria which causes virus influenza and other diseases right um so that being said mm -hmm. by using a lot of disinfection we find that we kill off all this good bacteria as well right. and if you notice these days the kids are the immunity is a whole lot more diminished right so they pick up a cold a whole lot quicker they get sick faster mm -hmm. and in an effort to try and treat that what we tend to do is to give them more medication and then we want to clean some more and right. disinfect some more okay so it's a vicious circle which it starts absolutely mm -hmm. uh, so complete like you have said uh, you know industries and factories of course chemicals are used but in our homes also we have started those uh, using those things now when we compare countries like canada and developing countries what about the regulations aren't the regulations quite tough over here because at one side we are talking about that we want to save our planet and a lot of ecological disasters what are happening are because of the constant and uh, much more use of these chemicals so what kind of regulations do you see are they not enough to uh, face this challenge i think the regulations in canada are quite stringent as mm -hmm. compared to developing nations around the world we find that canada ranks in the top 10 mm -hmm. um the highest regulated uh sector in the world are the scandinavian countries mm -hmm. uh they have an eco label right. canada has a something equivalent called eco logo okay however as i mentioned to you earlier that you you have 
only six, the, the regulation the biodegradable, the biodegradable, the biodegradability is at 60% okay. within 28 days. Uh -huh. um, the European Nordic standard, which is the eco label, right. uh, that one, the biodegradability is at a higher. Hmm. So they want a higher level of biodegradability to ensure that whatever we're putting back, you know, either washing it through our clothing or washing hmm. our, our utensils, wherever we're using the product, they want to ensure that it's faster biodegradable. Right. And the faster it biodegrades, the quicker it's, it returns back to its natural state. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to aim towards. Right. Is essentially, that is what is going to contribute towards removing the toxicity. But that 40% what you are saying is adding on to the toxicity Absolutely. and that is what is creating, uh, you know, diseases like more and more of cancers and other uh, skin problems and other issues. So now, how to deal with this? You know, for example, now more and more about talk has been talked about organic things or biodegradable, as you mentioned. So how are products like these uh, helpful? Like, don't these contain chemicals and are they equally effective when we use them at homes? So the big challenge has always been um, when one transitions from a traditional chemical mm -hmm. and, one, and you want to manufacture, let's say, a biodegradable product, right. something that's more green and eco-friendly, etc. Mm -hmm. What most manufacturers will tend to do is to look at what is the regulation. Right. Whatever the regulation stipulates, if the regulation says that 60% biodegradable within 28 days, or the regulation says that you must have no more than 1% of phosphates or sulfates into mm -hmm. your product, um, then most manufacturers will basically follow that regulation. Mm -hmm. And by following that regulation, what they're saying is that we're meeting the bare minimum requirement, right. so we're compliant. And therein comes the issue, we're meeting the bare minimum no. requirement. Right. Is that enough? No. If you had somebody operating on you, a, a surgeon, and, mm -hmm. and his success rate was 60%, if you had two surgeons, a mm -hmm. choice of two surgeons for open heart surgery, mm -hmm. and they tell you, well, you can choose surgeon A, and he's got a, you've got a 60% chance, chance of survival. Mm -hmm. And the other guy, surgeon B, will give you a 90% chance of survival. Definitely, Who would you choose? No doubt. Everybody <laughs> will go for the 90% guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it comes to these type of products, mm -hmm. cleaning products that we are exposed to, mm -hmm. uh, that is not the case. Right. There's such huge <coughs> marketing campaigns by larger multinationals that mm -hmm. uh, the introduction of products that are better performing and less toxic right. becomes pushed by the wayside. Right, I understand. But uh, when we talk about the biodegradability, like these products which are uh, eco-green or uh, more environmental friendly, what is their biodegradability level? You know. So the products that we advocate, mm -hmm. these particular line of products, will have 90% biodegradability within 14 days. Okay. And then... When the you say within 14 days means when you are using it. Yes. Uh, like for 14 days you have to wait or what, what does that mean? No. So, so let's say you use a product to yeah. clean a surface. Right. So you've cleaned your surface mm -hmm. and, um, and you're done with it. Now a normal product would take 60% for the, that liquid to become fully biodegradable. Well, to, it'll, it'll take 28 days for 60% to be biodegradable. Okay. Our product, mm -hmm. within 14 days, okay. you've got 90% of the product that has mm -hmm. biodegraded. But what about the toxicity of these? Are they uh, also having some kind of toxicity which is uh, going to... Help? So I'll show you something, right? right? So this is one of our products. Uh -huh. Wow. This is a cleaner and you have just... Uh, I can try any one of these, yeah. Okay. It doesn't taste as good right. as some nice chai, uh -huh. but... <laughs> So means if it can be consumed directly, you know, absolutely. it is not having an impact absolutely on our, uh, you know, day-to-day -day life also. Absolutely. And this okay. particular product, you mm -hmm. know, it, it's the urine and feces smell and stain. So this is to be used in the washrooms and the use Absolutely. Wow. You've just seen me do it. Wow. So how is this having an impact now? Like, uh, like when we talk about the cost factor, because generally uh, organic things or biodegradable things are more expensive than the normal things what we are daily using in our homes. So towards the end, if you can tell us about, you know, like when it comes to the cost factor, uh, is it very expensive? Our biggest problem when it comes to cost factor, mm. anyone that faces it, is packaging. Right. Packaging is your single largest cost factor. Okay. The majority of cleaning products that you'll see at any large retailer, mm -hmm. packaging is your biggest contributor. Okay. Here's an example <coughs> here. This product is in concentrate format. Mm -hmm. If you take six squirts of this, okay. six pumps, yeah. you'll make a full bottle of that. Oh, wow. Okay. So our aim is to try and eliminate right. what is normally available and rather have people use this in, in concentrate. Now imagine this, this will make you 17 of these size bottles. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And it'll be 
effective. And they are health friendly also. Absolutely. Great. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for this information, for coming forward and telling us that there are various other options available today in the market which we can use and we can be, uh, you know, caring for our health because right now there's a major crisis going on where people are concerned. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks. So, as you said, some of the things that we have done today, that today the market there are many such things available that we can use to keep our health healthy. Today, the major reason is that the people who are suffering from diseases are also suffering from diseases. The major reason is that the people who are suffering from diseases are also suffering from diseases. The major reason is that the people who are suffering from diseases are also suffering from diseases. The major reason is that the people who are suffering from diseases are also suffering from diseases. The major reason is that the people who are suffering from diseases are also suffering from diseases. बाथरूम में साफ करन वाला जड़ा इना कोल ए हे सैंपल है गए इसने उन्होंने मुंछ भी पाके दिखाया कि इना ए क्लीन है गए यानी कि सेहत पक्कों इना साढे वस्ते लाहे बंद है सो कॉस्ट फैक्टर पक्कों भी देख दिया था ए चीज़ें जड़ी इन्हें डाइल्यूट की थी यानी जा सकती हैं ने जिस नाल के शायद एक बारी लेन थे महंगा लगे लेकिन ओवरऑल इसकी यूज जो है वो सस्ती ही पहनती है पर सब तो बेहतर गल ये कि बायोडिग्रेडेबल प्रोडक्ट्स जड़ी ने साहत वास्ते बेहतर होंगे